Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. So we are so privileged to study the Word of God. So it's a blessing to to uh, to hear the Word of God this morning. It was really an encouragement and uh, a reminder for us uh, that really the Word of God is really true if we will receive it if from our uh, from our heart. So in order to to align ourselves in the will of God. So thank you for that uh, message that we have heard and also this afternoon na uh, may introduction na tayo kay pastor. Konti na lang to. <laughs> okay, so let's open our Bible in the book of 1 Peter. <clears throat> let's all stand up as we read the word of God first. Peter chapter 2 Let's read verse 1 until uh, uh, 19 Verse 1 uh, First Peter chapter 2 1 to 19 Okay, are you there? Okay, let's read this responsibly. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Unto you therefore which believe he is Precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And the stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble of the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should Shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not people, but are not the people of God, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you, as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of men for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme. Or unto the orders, as unto them that are sent by me for the punishment of the doers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God, that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters for all care, not only to the good and the gentle, but also to the good. Altogether, for this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. God bless the reading of his holy word. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you once again that we can study your word and pray, Father, that you will guide us, that the Holy Spirit speak through each every one of us. And, oh, Lord, I cannot do it without you. I am trusting on you. I am depending on you. Lord, give words to my mouth and help me, Lord, as I study this, this message, uh, as I was blessed. And also I pray, Lord, that they will be 
uh, your people will be blessed also uh, by the word, uh, by your truth from the word of God. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. We give all the praises and glory to your name. All these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so if you're going to read uh, the book of Peter in First Peter on uh, first chapter, we can see here in First Peter chapter 1, Peter tells us what Peter tells us what is our standing in the sight of God as a Christian. So here in First Peter chapter 1, Peter is telling us that we are, we are saved, we are, we are elect according to the, to the foreknowledge of God in verse number 2. And we know that, and there are some debate about that, that election is, that we are elected from the, from the foundation. Uh, kaya nga may mga pagtatalo-talo dyan na hanggang ngayon, hindi ma-settle. But I remember one illustration for uh, yung elected, Sabi, ang salvation ay isang pintuan na nakalagay, whosoever will come. If you will come to that room, and you can see at the back, you are elected. So, uh, it's, a, it's a simple uh, illustration, but it's true. You really, uh, uh, they, they keep on arguing that we, we don't need to do anything to be saved, but if you are elected by God, you will be saved whatever you do. Ganun yung ano nila, kahit anong gawin mo, kahit Gano'n ka kasama, kapag pinili ka ng Diyos, maliligtas ka. So, hindi po according to the Word of God. But here, uh, in 1 Peter chapter 1, Peter said we are elected according to the poor, uh, poor knowledge of God. He elected that because he knew that we will decide to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So, easy to understand about that. And then, we are, uh, as a Christian, we are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we know that, that if you will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when I was in the Bible school, there are some uh, lessons about this. The blood, they said that the blood of Jesus Christ ay hindi talaga yun nagliligtas. But it's clear in the Bible, without the shedding of His blood, there is no remission of sin. Yes. But they are keep on saying, the teacher said, oh, kung ang dugo ni Cristo ang nakaliligtas, ang na... Ang natalsikan lang yung mga ano, yung sundalo. Ah, sa baba, natalsikan. Sila lang maliligtas. Dapat daw hindi ganoon. Kasi yung blood daw dito ay uh, figure of speech. Ayun daw po ang buhay ni Kristo. Buhay. Kaya hindi dapat gamitin yung blood. Sabi ko pa, nakuku- nakaka-confuse lalo kapag siya pinakinggan mo. Yun, parang hindi ka maliliwanagan. Kaya maraming, maraming naging issue about that. But hindi ko lang alam kung ano nangyari. But it's clear in the Bible Yes, without the shedding of His blood, there is no remission of sin. We are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are bought with a price that we cannot pay. So if you are going to imagine that, that we really, because we are sinner, and the wages of sin is death on hell, but thank God because we are bought with a price. So and then in verse 23, we are born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. We are born spiritually by incorruptible seed. Hindi, kasi po tayo, sinilang tayo, that we are corrupt because of Adam and Eve, because of the sin. We uh, inherit the sin, the sinful nature of man. But when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we repent of our sin, we are born in spiritual by incorruptible seed. It was because by the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that... We know what is our standing in the sight of God, what we are going to do now. Alam natin, I don't know. I cannot say that you are saved. I cannot say, uh, you cannot say that, oh, I'm, uh, that, oh, Brother Gomer is saved. But it will uh, show in our fruits. Sinabi nga kanina ni Brother Jong, na pwede mo namang masabi ang isang uh, mahuhusgahan mo, isang ah, kristyano yan. Dahil may bunga. You can know them. It was written in the Bible. Kasi makikita mo ang, ang isang nagsasabi lang, nagpro-profess lang na ako'y kristyano, pero ba't ganito ginagawa mo? Hindi, ano, ako, secret Christian. Mga ano, spy. Wala pong ganun. Kapag tunay tayong nakakilala sa Panginoon, lalabas at lalabas po yan. It will show. It will show to us. And then, now, we know that we are saved. I hope we are saved, all of us here. And now, what 
what are we going to do as a Christian? That's what we're going to study here in chapter number 2 of 1 Peter. The title, I, I don't deny it. What are we going to do as a Christian? In verse number 1, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 1, Wherefore, ito po yung ano te, conclusion sa sinabi niya sa chapter 1, na kayo'y mga ligtas na, kayo'y uh, nilinis na ng uh, banal na dugo ng Panginoong Yesus, you are uh, born spiritually by incorruptible seed, you are, uh, 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 kayo belong na sa Panginoon. Now, this is what we're going to do. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. Number one, lay aside our old nature. It was written in the Bible uh, many times. Let's look in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Kasi ito po yung nagpapahirap sa atin. If we are really a true Christian, if we are keep on doing this, it will hinder us. Roma, uh, first, uh, Hebrews 12, 1. Uh, Wherefore, seeing also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Ito po yung mga bagay na nagpapahirap sa atin as a Christian to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And, ano to? Ito yung, and the sin which that easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. These things are hindering us to follow God. Uh, Peter, uh, also in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Ephesians 4, 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old men, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. So that's why we need to lay aside our old nature. Because there are times, we are, because our pastors keep on telling that, that we are still on the flesh. Lumalabas talaga yung pagiging ano natin. Minsan, may mga, yung ugali tayong barumbado, ganun pa rin. Ugali nating masasama, lumalabas yan. Hindi natin na uh, pipigilan. But because we are not uh, yielding to the Holy Spirit. But that's why Apostle Peter is telling us that we need to lay aside all these things. Peter, exhort, exhort them to the disuse of such vices as were disagreeable to their character as a regenerate man. As a regenerate person, we don't need to do all these things. We need to lay aside and contrary to brotherly love. Ito po yung salungat sa pag yung brotherly love. Sabing all malice and lay aside all malice. Ano po tungo malice? Yung lahat ng kasamaan na nasa nagagawa natin. It is a mark of ang unreg. It is the mark of unregenerated men. Yung nandun parin yung kasamaan na laging lumalabas, di ba? Hindi mo makik- mapapansin mo yan kapag yung tao, sinasabi niya kristyano siya, pero ganun pa rin yung halos parang kasamaan pa rin lumalabas. Iyan po ang sign ng unregenerated men. And all guile, ito yung mga pandaraya. It is fraud or deceit in words or in action. Yung pandaraya sa salita. Di ba marami tayo may mga kristyano ganyan, minsan nadadaya tayo. I hope sana dito wala. At meron din mga nakikita natin sa kanilang mga Action. So let's lay aside all of that. All hypocrisies, yung pagpapaimbabaw, both to God and to men. It's really hard to be a hypocrite to God because God knows our heart. But sometimes there are people who really good in doing that. Hindi mo maano, ang pambihira parang totoo yung kristyano. Pero deep inside, iba yung nasa puso niya. May mga taong ganyan. Hypocrisies. Uh, hindi ko mabasa yung sinulat ko. <laughs> okay, so yung pagpapain. And then, next, all envies, yung pagkaingit at each other's happiness or prosperity, riches, honors, gifts, temporal or spiritual. Again, minsan lumalabas. Ito, ito yung pinakamahirap na kalaban yung envy. Diba sabi sa Proverbs, sino ang makakatayo sa ingit? Kapag ikaw ay ingitero at ingitera, tapos ang buhay mo, di ba? Sabi niya, hindi ka magiging masaya. Dahil ang secret ng kasayaan ay pagiging contento. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Hindi lang sinabing it's a gain, it's a great gain. If you are godly, for sure you will be contented on what you have. And if you are not contented, for sure you are not godly. Because you are not contented of what you have. Ah, alam natin dito, lahat tayo, karamihan sa atin dito, teacher, 
Sabi natin, magkaroon lang ako ng ganitong sweldo, panalo na. Pero wala, parang kapos eh. <laughs> Gusto pa natin ng sabi, pambira. Ayun nga, like, tisol na ako. Buti ako, hindi ako tisol. Ano ako, TFL. Alam niyo ba kung ano yun? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> hindi ko alam ano ba yun. <laughs> hindi ko alam kung saan pa kinabay. Ay si Ate Wilma, kasama kayo. Nag-training kami sa Bangkok. Ang dami naming uh, training, pinag-aralan. Ang natandaan ko lang yung kumain kami barbecue sa... <laughs> sa <laughs> nakalimutan ko lahat. At saka yung natatanda ko lang, yung comedy ni ano, sino ba yun? Si Larry, yung pat, nagturo siya. Hindi ka naging kwento, mamatawa lang kayo. So ayun, yung pagkaingit, di ba? Kapag ayun ay nasa ating puso, listen, hindi pa, mas magaling pa ako dyan. <laughs> salita ng salita. Ayun, ayun nga, ngayon, pinaga, ayun, napakahirap ng minsan kalagayan natin. Ayun nga, sinabi ng ating pastor, it is really unprofitable kapag may ganitong sitwasyon. Pero minsan napat, mangyari kasi nakakatulong din ito eh. At least nabubuksan ng ating isipan ay talagang serious. We are serious in, do, in God's business. We are not playing church here. Hindi po tayo dito dahil uh, pampalipas oras. Sino-sino dito ang nagpapalipas oras lang? Di ba? Walang tataas eh. Di ba? Trip, 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 trip lang. A trip ko pumunta sa church ngayon. Sunday eh. Kasi ano eh. Nakaugalian ko. Malamig sa church. Magandang habang nakikinig ka, antukin ka. Di ba? pampatulog, di ba? Hindi po ganun. So, li- we need to lay aside all of that, yung pagkainggit. And then, all evil speaking, yung panglalait, yung backbiting, yung salita ka ng salita sa talikuran. Whispering, yung mga bulong-bulungan, yung mga hilig magbulong. Alam nyo, malalaman nyo, pag chismis pinag-uusapan eh, alam nyo anong sikreto, pag mahina ang boses. Pag, ano yung siya, ay, ay, chismis po yun. <laughs> Sigurado, 100%. Ano yung dadaan ka, biglang humina yung boses. Chismis. So, alam nyo na, ang tip. <laughs> Detraction. Hurting one another's characters by subtle insulting. Hindi ko na mabasa. Okay, so yung, yung uh, dinidestroy mo yung character ng isang tao, ng talikuran. Sa harap, Napakagalang mo, maayos kang kausap, pero pag talikod, iba pala ang sinasabi. So, we, we need to to lay aside all of that. But, ito, pag ginagawa mo pa rin to, it is a sign of that you are not an, uh, a regenerated person. Because you will struggle about this. Although there are times na mang, magagawa mo ito, but nandun pa rin yung the Holy Spirit will convict you. Hindi ka mananatiling ganito. Hindi ka mananatiling in gitero hindi ka mananatiling uh, you you always speak evil again to 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 other person kasi the holy spirit will speak through you so we need to lay aside all of that as lay aside our old nature and then in verse number 2 as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby so we need to desire the sincere word of God. We need to do this. As a Christian, we need to desire the word of God. Do we really have the desire to listen to the word of God? Or we are bored when we are listening to the word of God. We are bored when we are reading the Bible. I don't know what is your, uh, how, how, are you, uh, how do you read your Bible? How do you study your Bible? Alam mo, hindi lamang yung mga, dito nga, ma, ano tayo rito, hindi lang, uh, preacher ang dapat mag-aral. Amen. Lahat tayo dapat mag-aral kung anong ginagawa ng pag-aaral, paghahanda sa sermon. Sana subukan nyo rin pong gawin. Alam nyo, ma, kapag na, na nasimula nyo at na-enjoy nyo, alam nyo, marami kayong makikita. Yung, kasi dati noon, pag, uh, eto, no, nung bago-bago pa akong uh, nagpipreach, pag uh, binabasa ko, yung, bago ako mag-prepare uh, mag, uh, ng sermon, tumuntingin muna ako ng mga outline. Tapos, pag may outline, nakahanapan mo na lang ano kayo magandang verse dito. Ano ba? Ah, ito, verse maganda, sakto. Pero parang, ah, malapit, pwede na ito. Di ba, ganun eh. Hindi yung, we are so blessed here because we are really studying the Word of God. Actually, if you listen to the other preaching, kung makinig ka, malaman mo parang, hindi naman Bible ang binabangit. Yeah, marami sa Pilipinas nagpipreaching. Talagang bombastic sa preaching. May tumatakbo-takbo pa. 
So, Malayans may kakausapin pa yung upuan, uh, ganun. <laughs> Ay, hindi si Brother Wilson, ha? Hindi. Pero, uh, <laughs> okay, hindi. <laughs> di ba? Hindi, may mga ganun, yung mga animated. Pero kung pakikinggan mo, talagang, walang, hindi, hindi ka, bro. Talagang biblical yun siya. Eh. Wala tuloy ako. So, kung pakikinggan mo, wala sa, wala naman binanggit na verse sa Bible. Di ba? May babagiting verse isa, para out of context pa, hindi nababalikan. Tapos magkikwento ng the story of my life. Di ba? <laughs> so, wala po. Dapat, as a, as, a, as a Christian, we need to desire the sincere milk word of God. As a newborn babe, katulad po ng, ng isang sanggol. Ang sanggol talagang naghahanap yan ng gatas. Ayan, si JL. Di ba, pag-iiyak yan, ano natin, kailangan nyo ng dumede. Kasi, na nature sa bata na maghanap ng gatas. Ganon din po sa mga Kristiyano, kapag sinabi mo, sabi nga ni, na, ni Peter sa first part, the first chapter, that we are, we are saved, if you are really saved and you are really a Christian, you need to desire the sincere milk of the Word of God. Sinabi dito yung sincere Word of God. It's not only just plain word, but it is a pure Word of God. Kasi marami nagpipreach na talagang nagsa... Siya binabanggit lang yung Biblia, ginagamit lang para sa kanilang sariling pakinabang. Hindi na talaga tinuturo kung ano yung yung uh, yung tunay na laman na sinasabi ng salita ng Panginoon. So we need to desire that as a Christian, we need to desire the word of God in our life compared to a baby that ke- they cannot live without a milk. To desire the unadulterated doctrines of the gospel. We need to desire the word of God. Di ba? Kaya nga, uh, maging maingat po tayo sa, sa mga, sa katulad sa mga baby, re, ang advice talaga ng mga doktor, ng mga pediatrician, ay yung breastfeed. Kasi andun yung talagang, ayun yung sincere, ayun yung pure milk na dapat matanggap ng bata. Kaya nga yung formula, nagawa lang yun, kasi may pero mga katulad sa, in case, sa case ng aking asawa, nung pinganak siya, walang lumalabas na, nagata sa kanya kahit anong gawin namin wala talaga sabi ko lang kung meron lang ako sabi na lang eh talagang wala kami choice kundi yung form but by salamat na lang sa Panginoon at uh, hindi sila masya kaya nga siguro observation ko naging masakitin po sila nung unang ewan ko na-observa nyo natatanda nyo lagi kaming sa hospital lagi kaming uh, lagi silang may sakit ngayon na lang medyo naayos ang kanilang kalagayan. Kaya, because that's the design of God. And also, it is a design for us as a believer that we need to desire the sincere milk of God. Of God. If we don't have any desire to the Word of God, yeah, you ask yourself, why I don't have any desire reading the Bible? When I read my Bible, I start to sleep. I don't have any... Wala ka bang... Wala bang nagtutulak sa'yo na magbasa ba ng Biblia? O hindi mo man lang naisip sa isang araw, makapagbasa kaya ng Biblia. Kapatid, tanungin mo sarili mo. Kasi ang tunay na anak ng Diyos, as a newborn babes, katulad ng sanggol, nagdi-desire yan. Alala, ewan ko po kung naalala yung preaching ni Pastor Jesse dito about this one. Sabi niya, talagang kapag ikaw ay kristyano, hahanapin mo yung salita ng Panginoon. Kapag hindi mo hinahanap ang salita ng Panginoon, naboboard ka, ayaw mong makinig, naiinip ka, misa pa nga, naiinis ka, ay tanungin po natin ako. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Mas maganda nga at siguraduhin natin ang ating kalagayan. Because uh, our life is short. Hindi natin alam bukas. Babukas lunes, di ba? <laughs> Hindi natin alam babukas. Patay na tayo. Ba di pa natin ayusin ang ating kalagayan ngayon. We need to be careful. Uh, nga, no, no. Why do we need to desire it? It will help us to grow. So, as a newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. We need to desire it because it will help us to grow in our spiritual life. Wala namang ibang magpapalago sa atin kundi ang salita ng Panginoon. Di ba? Ang pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. There could be no doubt that they had tasted the goodness of Christ who were born again of incorruptible seed and whose hearts were purified by the truth. That we, that ye may grow Thereby, a regenerate person are not at their full growth at once. They are first children, then young men, and fathers in Christ. In John, 1 John 
chapter 2, verse 13. Sabi sa 1 John 2, 13. Okay. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him, that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, child, uh, little children, because ye have known the Father. This is not the age of the, ch the people in the church, but this is the condition of our spirituality. You are child, young men, and fathers. Nagsimula, wala pong nagsimula na an agad, uh, malago agad. Nagsimula sa baby. At kailangan natin ang salita ng Panginoon in order to become, to, will, to grow in the grace of God. So that's number two. Desire the sincere milk. Desire the sincere word of God. Not just only the word of God, but pure word of God. And then number three, in verse number nine, talon po tayo. Now, but ye are, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Actually, this is pertained to the Israelites. Kung babasahin niyo po ang First uh, Peter na uh, patungkol to sa mga Hudyo na naging Kristiano, but it was also applicable to us. Uh, Sabi na, chosen generation, royal priesthood, peculiar people, holy nation, originally pertains to Israel. But all these things, the apostle applies to the Christians, to whom indeed they belong in their spirit and essence in such a way as they could not belong to the Hebrews of old, but they were called to this state of salvation, of darkness. We are, because before we are sinners and we are called by God, that's why we are, like the Israelites, we are a peculiar people, we are a priesthood, royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Number three, we need to show God's glory by our testimony. We, because we are Christian, we, we, said, we said that we are saved, we are born again, we need to show God's glory by our testimony, that He should show the praises of Him. Sabi nga sa Matthew 5.16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in, in heaven. If you are really saved, you will shine your light. And who is this light? Jesus Christ says, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ must be seen in our life. Hindi po yung ating sarili. At we need to, to glorify God in our life. Now, how is our testimony? Tanungin, kayo lang makakasagot kung anong testimony po meron kayo. God does, does God glorify in our testimony? Naluluwalhati po ba ang Diyos sa ating mga testimony? Kapag binanggit yung pangalan nyo sa ibang tao, anong, ma, anong masasabi? Baka sa inyo. Pag, si, pag binanggit yung pangalan, Brother Gomer, ha? wala yan. Di ba? Parang ang sakit. Kasi wala kang naging magandang patotoo. But, as a Christian, we need to show God's glory by our testimony. And number four, in verse 11, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as a strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. So we need to abstain from fleshly lust, yung lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes. Ayan yung unang uh, kinabagsak ng tao, di ba, ni Eva, because of the lust of the flesh and lust of the eyes. In Romans 7, 23, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is, is in my members. Talagang meron tayong, uh, because we are still in the flesh. That's why we need to fight. We need to, sabi nga ni Paul, I die daily. Amen. We need to fight over it because it's really hard to do. And we cannot do it by our own. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need to yield to the Holy Spirit because if we will just do it by ourselves, for sure we will fail. Many times that we try to be to avoid all these things, but we we are frustrated. Kaya nagiging frustrated tayo because we are doing it by our our own strength. We don't depend on God. We need God in our life. Kaya nga we cannot do this without the help of the Holy Spirit. The problem is if you don't have Holy Spirit in your life. That's why there are times that parang hindi ko maiwasan talagang gawin to. Ako, ako noon, nung uh, 
nakapag-backslide daw talagang man, lakas kong manigarilyo. Halos sa uh, dalawang kaha isang araw. Pero sabi ko, titigilan ko na. Ah, kaya kong tigilan yan. Papakita ko sa mga magulang ko na kaya kong tigilan. Wala, hindi ko parang natigilan. Hindi ko kayang pigilan. Pero nung sinuko ko sa Panginoon, Panginoon, tulungan niyo po ako. Ay, nawala. Di ba? Because God can only help us. Amen. We cannot do it by our own. And then number five, as a Christian, what we're going to do, verse number 12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of Visitation. Number five, to live honest and godly in the world. Uh, yeah, in the world. We need to live honest and godly. In 1 Peter 2.12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, are they might by your good works, which, tell, which they shall behold glorify God in the day of visitation. We can live honest and godly to the world by... Submitting to the authority in verse 13, submit yourselves to every ordinance of men for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as a supreme. So we can leave that. We can be honest and godly by submitting to the authority. And then in verse 15, for so is the will of God that with the well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men by doing the will of God. You know, if you are doing the will of God, even though they are in other, in the eyes of the unbeliever that you are foolish, but uh, yung makikita nilang uh, kakaiba ang ginagawa mo. Hindi, ang ginagawa mo ay hindi masama. Yung makikita ba nilang kapag, uh, although sa tingin nilang mangmang ka, di ba? Ayan naman ang tingin ng mundo sa atin, we are foolish. But deep inside there, uh, at the back of their mind, na uh, mag-iisip yan. Ba't niya kaya nagagawa yung ganung bagay na yun? Diba? So, although we are foolish with them, but we can glorify God. That is in 1 Peter 12, uh, 15 and 16. Now, in verse 16, uh, nabasa ko na yung 15 and 16, as a free and not using your liberty for the cloak of maliciousness, but as the servant of God. Hindi po dapat gamitin natin yung kaligtasan natin. Na, sa, narinig ko nga yung isang preaching nung senior ni Pastor Jesse yung pastor nakalimutan yung pangalan na he said our salvation is not our license to sin it is license to serve no, yung kaligtasan natin hindi kaya nga sabi nila ay yung narinig ko nga si Soriano noon galit na galit siya sa one save always save eh. kasi nagiging para bang okay lang sa atin gumawa ng kasalanan kasi ligtas na tayo ah, okay lang naman gumawa ng kasalanan lig, palangit naman ako eh ay hindi ka palangit ng pagganon o pagganon ng idea mo ang sinasabi lamang na you are really saved if you are if you truly accepted the Lord Jesus Christ by faith and you repented of your sin maliligtas ka hindi ka na maalis hindi na maalis yung kaligtasan natin but being saved is not a license to sin hindi na ah ligtas ako gagawa ako ng kasalanan although may sabi sa 1st Gen 1 9 if we confess our sins God is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness but our salvation is our license to serve God. Nobody can serve God unless you are saved. Parang hindi ka pwedeng maglingkod sa presidente hanggat hindi ka yung sinabi ako, sige, paglingkuran mo ako, di ba? Hindi ka pwedeng basta-bastang pumasok doon. Ganon din sa Panginoon, hindi ka pwedeng maglingkod sa Panginoon ng hindi ka ligtas. Alam nyo, kahit anong gawin natin dito, kahit ka, ka, ikaw ang pinakamagaling kumanta sa choir, Ikaw ang pinakamagaling mag-lead, ikaw ang pinakamagaling mag-preach. Kung hindi ka ligtas, you are not serving the Lord. Bale, wala. Your, wala po. Magiging sayang ang, sayang ang oras mo. Sabi nga sa, sabi nga ng Panginoon, o oh, Panginoon, ay sabi ng pagdating na sa, sa langit. Sabi, Panginoon, nagpalayas kami ng mga demonyo. Nagpalayas, nagpagaling kami ng mga, ng mga may sakit sa pangalan mo. Sabi ng Panginoon, sabi ng Panginoon, depart from me. Hindi ko kayo kilala, magsilayas kayo, di ba? So nakakalungkot po yung gano'n na hindi natin, akala natin na talaga naglilingkod tayo, but deep inside in our heart, we know ourselves, I know that. Alam nyo po ang sarili, kilala nyo ang sarili nyo, kilala nyo kung talaga nagkukunwari lang tayo, 
kung nagkukunwari lang kayo, dahil uh, may pakinabang, ay nga, na nandito tayo kasi kasi nakikinabang tayo. Sana hindi po ganun ang Alam niyo, yung ako napunta rito, nung tinawagan ako ni brother, si brother Rilson na nagdala sa akin dito eh. Sabi niya, Brad, gusto mo bang ano, mag, uh, mag tumulong dito sa ministry? Alam ko, yung sinabi niya sa akin na, actually, yung pinagpipray ko, gusto ko maging missionary, missionary sa Disneyland, yung ganyan. <laughs> uh, ganun. Gusto ko maging missionary, sa pinag-uusapan namin ang asawa ko bago kami na eh, ikasal. Nung tumawag si Brother Rilson, sabi niya, gusto ko bang tumulong? Say, Ay, oo, oh, gusto ko. At saka, say, paano wala akong, ano, ma, may makakuha ba akong trabaho dyan? Sa inyo, marami di ba, ano ka? Sabi niya, di ba, engineer ka? Maraming trabaho dito pag engineer. Pagdating ko dito, wala namang ma-apply yan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman pala sila tatanggap ng mga ganyan. Say, magturo ko na lang muna, Brad. Mag-training ka two weeks. Nag-training ako at ayun. Uh, hindi naman talaga ako teacher, pero... Ay nga sinasabi, napakapalad natin dito dahil hindi naman talaga tayo talaga nagtuturo. Maliban na lang, yung iba rito talagang teacher ang profession nila. Pero yung mga tulad na ang iba na hindi tulad natin, na hindi naman talaga tayo teacher, we are so privileged na nakakapagturo tayo. Makita natin yung sa Panginoon, Panginoon, salamat sa biyaya. At huwag na, ta- huwag na natin isipin na kapag may narating na tayo, huwag mataas po tayo. Hindi po ganun. Dapat nga habang tumatas, katulad ng, ng bambu, di ba yung bambu, sa Tagalog, kawayan yan eh. Yung bambu. Habang tumataas, habang tumataas yung bambu, ano yun eh? Lumalaki. So, ay, ay, hindi po. Bumababa. Ganun po dapat tayo. Habang ikaw ay marami ka nang naabot, nagiging mapagpakumbaba. Di ba yung, yung palay? Yung palay, pag walang laman, ay pag wala pang bunga, ang tarik, ano yun eh, di ba? Ang tarik. Pero pag yung nagkabunga na, yuyuko na yan. Sana maging ganun tayo kapag nagkaroon tayo ng alam at nakibinayaan tayo ng Panginoon ng ganyan mga opportunity, it will, uh, it will help us to become humble. Hindi po magmataas. So, ayan po. And then, uh, number, number six, verse 17, matapos na po tayo. Honor all men, love brotherhood, fear God, honor the King. This is what we're going to do, to honor all men. To whom, uh, honor all men to whom honor is due according to the place, station, and circumstances in which they are, the gifts of providence and grace bestowed on them, whether they be unbeliever or believer. So we need to honor them. Kaya halos uh, yung iba rito, ang mga boss natin, unbeliever, di ba? And wala sino bang may-ari ng school na believer? Wala, puro unbeliever ang boss natin, di ba? We need to honor them. Although they are not, they don't believe on God, but uh, God uh, put us there so that we can show our testimony to them. Amen. Yang hindi dapat natin sirain yung testimony natin. Ay, lagi tayong pinapaalalahanan tayong mga Kristiyano na minsan nagigilty rin na, na kung sino pa yung Kristiyano ay pa lang, laging late. Ako, <laughs> madalas akong late sa school. Kaya nag-struggle ako kasi piniprepare ko yung bata, lalo na pumapasok sila. Kaya halos magmadali ako para ma- hindi lang malate. Tapos ngayon, binago pa yung oras namin, mas inagahan. Kaya, <laughs> lalo tuloy akong, sabi ko, actually, una nagko-complain ako, ba- ba't ganun, parang unfair yun ah. Ang bayad lang sa amin, 6 hours. Tapos, in-extend ng 15 minutes, kung kailangan maaga. Pero narealize ko, pambira, ba't, ba't ako nagkakagad ito? <laughs> Panginoon, patawarin niyo po ako. So, ayun, pumapasok na ako ng maaga. <laughs> We need to honor all men. <laughs> Hindi mo lang pwedeng labanan yun eh. Magmatigas ka. Hindi. 7.30 ako mag-start mag-klase. Kasi ang start doon sa Western, 7.30 ang turo. Ang dating din namin 7.30. Kaya nga minsan inisip ko rin. Sabi ng boss ng isang may-ari, dumadating kayo dito, humihingal-hingal pa eh. Tapos dire-diretso kayo ngayon, agahan natin ang pasok nyo. Eh kala ko okay lang yun. Nung tinindak ko sa timesheet, ang dami kong late. Nasa two hours ata na <laughs> sa malaki-laking kaltas. Eh, pa, say ko, hindi dapat gano'n ang maging attitude. So, Panginoon, patawarin niyo po ako. Baguhin natin. We need to honor them. Because God put uh, there uh, so that uh, yung maging in order. And then, love your, love all the, love the brotherhood. Love your brethren, the whole company of brethren in Christ and are of the household of faith. We need to love 
each every one of us. Yung brotherly love, ah, iba yung iba yung ibang love na yung wala pang ano. Basta yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon, katulad ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Sa Galatians 6.10, sabi nga sa Galatians 6.10, uh, Galatians 6.10, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto, the, unto them who are in the household of faith. So, it tells us that we, if we are giving favor to the unbeliever, but we need to give more favor, or we need to love more our brethren. Minsan, mas mahal pa natin yung unbeliever, di ba? kaysa sa believer. Kaya nga sa yung sinasabi ni Pastor, kapag pag pag decide siya, sino tutulungan yung believer and believer? Ito yung believer na. Kasi ito ligtas te, eh. ito yung kasamahan natin eh. Minsan may mas pabor pa tayo sa unbeliever. Ah, ito mabuting tao to, ayan. Walang kwenta to. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi po dapat ganoon. And then fear God. It's a reverential fear. We need to have fear with God and honor the king. Honor the king ito yung pag-submit sa government cheerful subjection by observance of the laws by payment of our tribute tulad dito minsan nagrereklamo noon di ba yung unang panahon dito walang tax wala tayong tax pero ngayon nagka-tax reklamo tayo pambihirang ano yan binikuhan ka pero duty natin yun eh wag po tayong magreklamo kung kinukuha na tayo ng tax dapat nga magbayad tayo kasi na na enjoy natin yung stay dito sa Cambodia honor uh, on, uh, honor the king. And then last, number seven, verse 18. Servants, be subject to your master with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the proward. For this is the thing, for this is thing worthy. If a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. In verse number seven, to submit to our earthly master. We need to submit, we, not, we don't need to... We, just, we don't need just to honor them, but we also to submit to our earthly master. Ito po yung mga boss natin sa trabaho, sa, sa church, o yung mga, wala naman tayong boss dito, lahat tayo, pare-parehas. Although, kailangan i-honor natin yung authority ng ating pastor, ganun po dapat ang gawin natin as a Christian. Kapag sinabi natin na we are really a Christian, we are really saved, we need to, to do these things with cheerful heart. Yung wala po bang uh, kabigatan. Kapag ang uh, nangyayari ay nagagawa mo to dahil napilitan ka lang o dahil nagpapakunwari ka lang, ay tanungin natin ang sarili natin, mga kapatid. So, what are we going to do? As a Christian, this is, the decision is ours. We saw what we are going to do as a Christian now. It is the time for us. If we, we will do all these things. So I hope this will be, uh, help us and encourage us to, as a Christian, you need to obey the Word of God. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, thank you so much.